Hey guys, so today we're gonna have a video of unboxing how many? Four boxes of model kits and two boxes of merchandise. And yesterday, let me just fix this again. I actually um, made a video, but for some odd reason, it cut and didn't save anything where I was explaining a bit about how I made some room and stuff. And it was actually just a small merchandise unboxing. So that got lost, doesn't matter much. I'm gonna start with a small box. The thing is that we're actually getting swamped right now with kits and uh, it's so unfortunate in that sense that we're moving very soon. So um, everything I get now I should be, should be moving again and that's just plain stupid but that's just how it is. There is a new big order on the way that I'm trying to get pushed into 2023 in January because uh, it's simply just too big for me to have it in here and I think there's pallets on the way and it's it's all very not so optimal but I hope we can manage. So this is a fun one. Gok and AC guy and sock. This is actually pretty rare because I never had it before. I can't remember how many of them I got. Right now there was only one right here. We got the Astray Red Frame Inversion from uh, Gundam Breaker Batlock. We were sold out of those, so I ordered a bunch of those. got some uh, HG Jägen. I can't remember if this one was sold out. I actually think it might have been sold out. Uh, if not, there was only a few left. And then there's, if this is a leftover, a Devil Gundam non-grade. Gundam H2, there will be more of those. Beautiful Master Grade Phoenix. There will be more of those too. In some of the other boxes, this was just a, a smaller one of them. Let's see. Yeah, and it, it's like, I think someone is calling while I'm recording the video just stops and gets lost it doesn't even save it so hopefully nobody calls me when I'm making this video what? yeah we have more Gundam H2 normal and uh, more of them. The Gundam Double O Command Quant. Whoa, this was also sold out. I think number five. Yeah, we have no more of those either. These are all that one. There's another single one shining of the old school kits, those leftovers. Okay, so now I'm gonna have some trouble figuring out where to put stuff as usual. I'm just gonna take two more phoenixes. I think we ordered ten. And the rest of this, no, not the rest of the box. We have a single master grade Gundam F91. I just turned it on. F91. We have a few more of those. Uh, and this is great because we were sold out again for like the tenth time. Real grade. High new Gundam. 
long-awaited kit. And that was all that was in this box, I think. I got seven. Seven. But I mean, seven is better than zero. <clears throat> That's the second box already. Not so many different kits in this delivery. As I recall it, the big one will be here. I actually have no clue because. That distributor is not very good at sending me tracking, so sometimes it's like it's just here and we're not ready. Red frame inversion. More those. Is this red frame inversion? Uh, F91 and Phoenix. Yeah, same, 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 same. Not the most exciting unboxing. <laughs> right now, it's, the, it's just the same kits, all of them. Oh, we're really busy right now. I said that in the video yesterday as well with the customer service because merchandise orders have been pushed into the new year and a lot of customers thought that they could reach to get them uh, for Christmas so we're stuck with a lot of products that people don't want or have to find a way to tell their kids or not kids that it is delayed that's a bit unfortunate that's why Gundam kits is just much better because it's all in stock. Pre-orders can be a difficult thing sometimes, but it was actually the pre-orders that saved our 2022 from being awful due to the prices. So let's see. This was this the last one on our last count. Yeah, that was the last of the model kits. We got more of the command quant. We got more of the Sogok. These three little cute guys. Uh, we got the Cubele. Mark two, it's the blue one, not the white one. Why should I have the last one here? No, we have two pieces left. That's why I ordered some more. And a few of the Gundam H2 that we already cut some other five off. Maybe here's the last one. And then there's some F91 and we got one single of this guy, not sure why, Hiyakushiki, <coughs> Master Grade, and we don't have him right now, so he is the only one with that awesome matte gold color in the store right now, so if you want this one, you better be quick. And the last four pieces we got of the old Master Grade Wing Gundam Zero, which is actually a pretty great kit for its age. Now where we can't get the Burka version because it's out of production, I believe, this is a good substitute. So that was it for the model kits. Let's just make some space here. I just have to move some of this out of the way. <clears throat> I can enjoy this one. Mm. 
You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to the new warehouse. No idea. You know what? I'm just gonna take both boxes in. And I don't have to bend over that much. Here we go. Ah. So, merchandise. I think there's a small thing in here for myself as well. Not quite sure. I mean, these, when you open these boxes, I'm just going to show you. This is just so awesome because all kinds of great stuff in here. Like being a kid again. Yeah, we have this ornaments for Christmas. Hopefully they can be there by tomorrow. So the customer can put them on their Christmas tree. We got this Hedgewick Hedwig Electronic Interactive Plush. Not quite sure what it does. Probably something fun. Avatar. Jake Sully and Banshee. Looks great. So I can't see it? That's annoying. Hmm. Well, if it looks like this in the picture, it's, it's gotta be great. We have boss mods, something. Kimetsu no Yaiba, Akasa. Can't see anything in these. Monopoly, Star Wars. Why not? We have Yu-Gi-Oh! 24 karat gold plated. Limited edition. Number 39 Utopia. And we have an export. This is a small stand. Panda figure. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen. And we have here, not quite sure, Love Live. Nijika, Nijikasaki High School Idol Club. This is some pop-up parade stuff from Good Smile Company. Can't see. Gotta figure out later. Persona animation. Same here. Then we have this is Star Wars figures. The Stormtrooper Commander, Clone Ahsoka's Clone Trooper, and the Armor. Maybe I should really see those series again. Child. Think of pop figure. And we have K2 scale figure. And 
the X rated semi boobs. And we have Boss Lightyear Alpha Suit. Now this is I'm not gonna let it be in here, but it looks pretty great. And the last pop-up parade. I can't see the figure. Room. So yeah. Um, this was a present for someone. Now this is one of the pieces that were for myself, I think. I'll tell you why. It's a simple reason. One, I thought it was damn cute. The other one is from a customer. Two, robot. I mean, it's a robot. It's Wally. I need a Wally in my new office just to sit there and look sad. Maybe I should buy an Eevee as well. And a Mo. Oh yeah, one is for a customer, the other one is for me. I'm a nerd, I can't help it. Sometimes I see something and I just doesn't happen very often I must say because I don't have the space but I will have the space with very soon I wonder how many extra steps I walk each day to turn off the lights Sometimes it's some long days. Ooh. Last box guys, let's see if we can unbox it before the lights go out again because I'm getting tired of that. I actually need to ship all this stuff as usual so people can, holy crap, that's a lot of paper. People can get it before Christmas. It's gonna be such a mess. Well, let's begin. Alice with flowers. Actually, pretty cute. Fan of colors, so lots of colors. Sakura Miku, noodle stopper figure, noodle stopper. All right, what we have here, we have a that's a Nendoroid, I believe. Monica. And we have a Freddie Mercury Queen figure here. Flash Gordon edition. We actually had one of those last time as well. This is a heavy one. Oh, one of these awesome Warhammer figures. Ultramarines Reaver with bolt carbine. Uh, which one? Which one? Here we have a Figma action figure. It is Inosuke Hashib Hashibira DX edition. It's tough to see by. It looks like some kind of guy with a pig head. Or board or whatever you call it. Here we have some pop figures. We have Cinema Roll. We have Toomey. We have Jimin. And more stuff. Here we have 
have a Pokemon duffel bag with Pikachu on it. Another Warhammer figure here is the Adepta Sororitas Battle Sister in the Order of the Bloody Rose. Oh, this one is something I have at home. As, oh, that's, yeah, that's it. The Batman logo projector. This one was with damaged packaging. I can see why. I didn't have to make it worse than it already was. Like that. So, it actually projects Batman's logo on the wall. For some odd reason, mine is on every day at the office at home. He never comes. What is this? Some more of these pop-up parades, maybe that's completely invisible. Aqua swimsuit, swimsuit version. Actually, these three are swimsuit versions, then they are the one order. Yun Yun and Mekumin swimsuit version. I think so. Thousand or Mega Knob with Shooter. This one is so big, we actually sold quite a couple of these. Not very expensive and pretty detailed and heavy. What is this? Is this a mixed bag? Box, not bag. I think this is the last one. Then we're done for today. Two boxes in it. We have Slam, Jason Williams, Basket, and Dark Tide. Also from Warhammer. It's the Ogrin Artist Proof. So I do believe that you'd, of course, have to paint this yourself. So, guys, that was it. That's a lot of stuff. Welcome to my world. You know, this is this is what I have to work with. And um, this will be over very soon. So I am gonna get going to get all this stuff cleaned up so we can get some space for the next couple of orders that are arriving that are a lot bigger than this. See you guys, I hope you enjoyed all this lovely stuff i will be back with more lovely stuff very soon take care bye